What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and I'm going to show you an oldie but a goodie from Mars here. This is a sand dune. All right, this is pretty cool. Back by popular demand, Themis art image. These north polar dunes look odd, like a plant, a fossil, or some alien creature. These are supposedly just sand dunes, polar dunes. Um, Pretty cool though the shape of it. I haven't. I mean, I've looked around through uh, Google Moon, hard Google Moon, Google Mars, trying to find some better pictures of it. And this was one of the best. They don't have them in really high resolution, which I think they would want to get a real high resolution of this thing. But tell me, this isn't pretty cool. Now let me tell you what I the scale is from what they're telling me here. They're they're saying that basically it's a uh, 40. Where are we at? Oh, sorry, it's up here. Um, no, it's 40 meter per pixel resolution, and how many meters is right to left? So basically across the whole thing here is 658, so what's that about? 2,000, that's 26,000, 26,000, and then you divided it, that'd be 24, that'd be, about, be 16 miles from here to here. All right, so you're talking probably five miles, I'd say, six six miles right here from here to here, um, across, and then smaller at the other. Pretty interesting. Um, and needless to say, with some really cool geometry. Now, I'm basically just pulled it into, into Photoshop here, and I'm going to bring it up. Let's take a look at some of these sand dunes. Look at the shape of some of this stuff. Um, these look like big, huge, big, huge buildings. This one... You can tell this is up in the air here. You can see where the sun shadow is coming from on this, uh, where it was taken. Pretty cool. Look here. You've got some uh, very, like a, almost like a cross there, upside down, if you were to flip it around. Um, let me see if it's any better going this way. If I can see it any better this way. Um, it's amazing how much perspective can change things on pictures, too. Um, I know that when you're doing these, a lot of these, you have to be very careful because you can see something, especially with the old moon pictures, because they flip them upside down, they turn them around, they invert them. There's all sorts of stuff they do to you know, make these things, the anomalies stand out or you know, not stand out, basically. I kind of liked it the other way around a little bit better. I think it felt more natural. Let me, let me actually take a look at the whole thing and see. What do you guys think? What do my YouTube buddies think here? Let me see. I think I'm going to turn it like this. I think looking at it like this, I think, is kind of maybe where the spacecraft was looking down. I always give it my guesstimate, but pretty interesting stuff, especially right here. We can't get, you don't get that much, you're not getting that great quality, uh, you know, the picture out of it. It's only a, what, one megabyte file they're giving us here, which you think that they'd really um, give us a nice one, but check this out here. It comes out like a, like a pitchfork type thing. It's got some interesting things here. Man, let's see if we can't sharpen this up some image. I mean, usually I don't use the smart sharpen and stuff like that. Filter, sharpen, but let me see if this actually helps at all. Hmm. It does help a little bit. And then we go from there. Oh, could take a second to do. These old pictures are pretty cool. So this was from 2008, I believe. When did they put this out? No, 2006 from the Themis. This is from the Smoke. Okay, this was from Mars Odyssey, from 2001 Mars Odyssey, from the Themis instrument. Uh, so they took out. This was actually giving them a lot of uh, information these pictures did. This is pretty cool, though. You can really see the uh, exposure. We popped the gamma like I always do on the other pictures. For some reason, I feel, always feel like that gives my uh, edges just a little bit more definition that you can get to. And look what we got here. More and more, if you're looking at the sand dune, especially if this was dunes, polar dunes, I guess it could be ice in here too. Um, if you, on Mars, the other sand dunes are perfect. Have you ever seen them? They, some of them look like fingernails with beautiful shaped uh, rounded edges in the back that come out. They look like spaceships that are just right across the surface. And... Uh, very interesting to say the least the beautiful uh, sand dunes but this looks more complicated than just some sand dunes it almost looks like this may have been an impact of some sort I don't know um, possibly even put here it's funny how NASA says you know it looks like an alien creature or something it sure does <laughs> out of nowhere it looks like an alien creature or something it's strange how they've got little 
perfect circles in these things. Look, there's one right here, one right here. That's not perfect. That's more oval right there. Just kind of in it. Look at these down here. These are fairly big. It almost looks like little mini, uh, like little mini uh, step in civilization. It almost looks like a big, huge something that was built, like a pyramid or something, but not necessarily a pyramid. And just kind of huge blocks were used on it, which that's just most most likely, uh, you know, my imagination. You know how I do it here. I see what I see. You see what you see. That's why I love your comments. Let me know what you see. Look at the. Uh, now that's cool. Okay, check it out. This is like a big dome or something right here. Gosh, I hope you guys can see this on your phones. There's the dome right there, right? Now it's got a, uh, some, looks like a wall. Or who knows what this stuff is? This could be underground. This could just be actually where things are. Uh, it could be nothing. It could be sand. You know, like I said, I always go towards the more, What's the word? Fanatical side, I guess. I don't know. Not fanatical. The more uh, you know, uh, interesting side to me. You know, I want to believe. You know, and that might taint. I see. I don't do anything scientific here. I don't claim to. You know, so but check that out. See how it kind of rides along there and it comes up. And this one looks like it goes into this little dome thing. Now, isn't it just interesting how this piece runs right there with it? Like it almost touches it and it comes down light, you know, right along with this right there. To me, that just gets to be very. Uh, is that how many times does it happen? Is it really that? I don't know. I, it can't really be a coincidence all these times when we look at this thing. and Some people say, oh, well, look at the clouds. You'll see so much stuff. And I know a lot of that's going on. Um, but I think you know this isn't the greatest example. If you look at some of my last videos, I mean, there's some of the stuff that's just so blatant, in your face blatant, um, especially some of the Curiosity Rover stuff. I think I like it better. I think definitely liked it how I had it. You can pulls it out a little bit more. It does darken it up a little bit, but you can see how the structure of this stuff looks. Pretty cool. Either way, like I said, it looks like it could have been impacted me or something along those lines. Maybe something impacted it, or it doesn't look like any volcano. They're saying dunes. Very interesting dune. It doesn't have like you know. You think, when I see dunes, I think about over at the beach here, where they're you know perfectly built up and you know, very smooth and not jagged. This looks like a, a huge scaly reptile or something like that. Or buildings. See how stuff just comes out and goes down, comes off and goes down. I don't know, guys. I thought you'd really enjoy this one. Oh, look out here. These two. This is interesting too. Look at these perfectly straight. I mean, and it's parallel. Let's get a straight edge out. Let's see. Oh, that's right. I got it turned. <laughs> but uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. Like, you guys can't see it. But we can do it with the computer here. Let's see. One. They are. They run, they're run. they perfectly parallel. And it looks like there's stuff connecting them in the middle. And this could just be some image artifacts, granted. But the surface, I would imagine... Is if it was smooth, you wouldn't get this stuff. I mean, look at all these. If you really, actually, let's do this real fast, just for some giggles. Hopefully, this will work. Image, because I have it turned, it it orientates with the image. Um, auto contrast. See this stuff in here? Like they uh, look at that circle there in the middle. Let me pull if you guys can see it. It probably just all looks like nothing but blur to you guys, but I don't know. That's pretty cool. It almost looks like stuff could be connecting it. More of that S symbol. You see this S everywhere on Mars. Everywhere. Well, look at this thing here. It's got like a brace or something coming over the top of this one. So if these are just random, this is odd that something that looks like a tubular piece would be coming up and over it. I mean, especially when it's not on anything. It almost looks like it's holding it in. Or possibly uh, it was built over top of it for a reason. But how could sand do that? I don't see it doing that. And it almost looks like these are, as all of them are parallel, like they're all running. At least these two look parallel. I'm not sure if these are, if you extended the line out, how it would go, you know. Well, let's try it. Let's see. Uh, we want the shape tool. Where are you, shape tool? I haven't done this in a while. So we're, we're both going to work on this together. I thought there was going to be a short, quick video just to show you guys something. Here we go. Let me get the line tool out of it. 
It's never just quick and easy as I say it will be. All right. Just for giggles now. I'm going to start through here. I want to run it, and I want to see how parallel it is. It's not perfect. Not perfect. So, But it is parallel with the one next to it here. Wonder if the one next to it. And look at this. What's coming off the back of this one here? How do you explain this? This you, you, when you get close, it goes away. But how do you explain that part of it? You know. And let's see what these do when I add things. See if they give us the same. Oops. Edit. Edit. Do. Okay. Good. It's not turning that bad. I want to get the. See that? How it almost like squiggles off on its way out like it was something, like a path, like they had to drag something to it. But why would you drag it on a, a squiggly path? Too cool. Everything up there is just a mystery. That's what's great about doing this. And like I said, people come here and say, you got too much time on your hands. You do this, you do that. You guys don't know what I get done. I get so much done in a day, especially to the trolls. I don't even listen to you guys. And it's so funny now. That uh, now I'm really, like I said, I really started getting attacked lately. People are saying, starting to hit me up and say that they're getting unsubscribed to my channel. All sorts of stuff like that. Like, if you've been unsubscribed to my channel and you had to subscribe again, let me know. And I wouldn't even bring it up. I'm thinking about making a video just so everybody catches and say, if you've been unsubscribed, let me know. Because I feel like it's happened to me at least one time on Dabu 7s channel and a couple other ones where it's like, where'd they go? And, uh... The other day, I have two accounts. I put music on one. I couldn't find this account, and I had to re-add it. So then I really start thinking, well, maybe it is happening. But uh, I'm not one to be ever claim a victim or something like that. So who knows? It's probably just a YouTube glitch. I don't think I'm being targeted. But check this out here. It's not too much on, on the way like these were up here. And this thing looked pretty out of place. It comes up and over top of it. Right there, up and over top of it. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting features sitting on the planet Mars. And look, there's more, a couple of them there. Could be sand. That's where you guys come in handy. What do you guys think this thing is? And it's, what's really cool, see how it kind of just shutters off and then it gets these really big spots of it that just keeps coming, coming. They're bigger and bigger. I mean, it, it almost looks like the, an old skeleton of like a huge, huge, huge thing. I mean, I don't know. I love it. Much, guys. I love you guys. Have a good one. Hope you guys are doing good. It's hump day. It's Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a good week. Had a good weekend. Uh, it's a short week for Americans. We all have Memorial Day if you're working a 9 to 5. I work a 9 to 5, so, um, you know, where they pay a salary and stuff. You get the couple holidays off you get, and that's it. Um, but cool stuff here on Mars. Like I said, the shapes look like this right here. I mean, this is sand. It's really blowing in a very interesting way, especially because if you look next to that there, like I said, and I'm going to let you guys go, with the lines going there and coming out, this stuff looks like building something's going on here. Give me love, guys. Hit like. Do what you do. If you, I'm not to 10,000 subscribers yet, but we're getting close. So once that hits 10,000, I'm gonna anybody who's registered at www.whatsupinthesky.com is gonna get something. If you've got malware bytes, it's gonna say that my my website is a uh, giving you guys viruses or something. It's not. I ha I'm on a shared service I, with Just Host, and uh, they apparently when you're on a shared service, basically you you have a couple URLs on one IP address. So I'm in the process of getting to my own IP address. I never imagined this website would take off. And you guys, so many people will be watching these videos and I you know, I'd have so many people that care about me. I mean after my father died, the letters you guys sent, I mean people have got my address sent me stuff here. It's just amazing. So as many of these videos I can make, I, I'm looking for some of the old stuff that I hadn't done yet. And this was one I've had on the to do list for a very long time. So and I'm getting back to you guys. I got so so much stuff you guys have sent me. I apologize if I haven't gotten to your stuff yet. Doesn't mean I don't agree with you or I disagree or anything else, you know, or I just have not gotten to it yet. And I love you and I thank you so much for sending it and I will get to you soon. <laughs> All right, guys, 14 minutes in. Take it easy. I thought it was going to be like two minute video. Oh, geez.